Hello, Gamer Nom is back. I made this video to encourage everyone to unlock and finish this upcoming fight pass. Why? Because most of the OP specials and champions can be found or unlocked in the fight passes. So I made a list to show you and prove to you that I am correct. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's go. For the first champion from Fight Pass number one, we have Kitiro. If you were lucky enough to unlock this champion, let me show you what it does. Our baseline damage is 53N, right? So let's summon this champion. Go. It increases damage, okay? The damage is 71 by now. But that is not the feature that we want from Kitiro. Check this out. At 20% health, the damage will be doubled. So we need to damage ourselves first. Let's go here in the water and eat some fruit. I wanna, just want to show you how your damage increases with this champion. And the effects. Check that out. Most of the players call this Kaioken from Dragon Ball Z. And by that, let's check the damage. 143N. Not bad, right? From 70, it became 143. So let's try it in boss fights. I think you can like defeat it with one or two combos. Again, note, take note, guys. This is just a champion. You can still use transformations with it to further increase your damage. Okay, I'm just showing you the raw damage with just this champion. How about in tournament dimensions? This is the sword slashes, right? 8888, almost half. Now let's try it with the KO Ken. From 8, 22. One hit combo on an enemy that is not using any durability transformations. Next up, my favorite bloodline, the Nine Tail Fox bloodline. So first, I am going to show you the transformation, the Baryon mode. This is my favorite transformation in terms of usefulness, okay? Check that out, base damage 10 and our da our defense. Okay, 10, okay, that's the baseline. Now we are going to activate the Baryon mode. Oh, it's so cool. For damage, Check that out guys, it is better than Kirito. Kitiro, times 3. And for our defense, 20% increase. Not bad, right? Not bad, that's why this is my favorite. Such an OP transformation. 300% guys, or times 3. Next up, we have here Kurama transformation. One of the best transformations in terms of effects or... Uh, how they made it, but it's almost useless in fighting enemies. There you go. Okay, so after this, we have the first skill, the Kage Bunshin. Check this damage, but I think this will be hard to use in tournaments. Just showing. <laughs> okay, so after this bloodline, this is from Fight Pass 2, right? Next up, another bloodline from Fight Pass 2. There you go, the Flying Thunder God. First skill. See that? That's the same as the Devil's Flame, the kick. As long as you're within range, even though you are not facing your enemy, that's an automatic Rasengan on the head. Next up, this one. You see that, guys? It's so cool, right? This is skill. You can also use it to run around. Oh, Minato feels. And the last skill is the kunai, so you can dodge one damage, any damage, but you can use it with this one. Check that out. Every time you use RPS, rock, paper, scissors, you will be damaged, right? But if you throw that kunai and use the rock, paper, scissors, no damage. Another OP skill from fight passes, okay? So now you should be thinking, I should have unlocked all the fight passes. Don't worry. Fight Pass 4 is coming out and I am sure that they will include some OP champions and specials. For our next special, okay, next is an armament. 
the armament of Kirito from Sword Art Online. I'm just showing you the skills, but I want you to focus on the last skill. This is the second skill, 55 damage. Okay, for the last skill, there we go. Check that out, guys. You're using two swords. First up is a stun, 70 damage, and continuous damage. Not bad, right? Not bad. This is from Fight Pass 2. Many players are saying that Fight Pass 2 is the best, and I kind of agree. Next up is also an armament, Blue Rose Armament. Guys, if you have half cooldown, you can stun, spam your enemy. Check that out. Second skill, Conqueror's Hockey, Ice Blast. Second skill from Blue Rose Armament, Conqueror's Hockey. Guys, my enemy here is trying to move, okay? Ice Blast. Second skill, see that? Only stun. Unlimited stun. No need to like change specials. But I just don't want to use this strategy. Maybe I'll try. <laughs> but yeah, uh, maybe no, because it's very hard to unlock for other uh, new players. So what's the point of making a guide, right? Next up is another armament. Yes, we only have three armaments so far, and those armaments are all OP. Armament Olive, Fragrant Olive, or Olive Oil, just joking. Guys, this is the best special for boss fights. Not all, maybe. Uh, like, for example, uh, Dimension 2 and Dimension 4 boss. But this skill, the C skill of this special is so strong. Check that out. This is just raw damage. No champions and no other uh, transformations. The damage is almost 500. If I included a champion in the transformation, one hit. This is a one hit kill for the most, I mean one skill. Okay, so let us finish this. And we are going to move on to our next special or champion. Okay, a champion, Meliodas. From Fight Pass 2, why? Guys, because even though they nerf its damage, this is still the best strength champion for training. 90%, right? And next up, guys, this. Make sure you unlock this. Fight Pass 3, it's still there. Why? Because this is so... You know that. I, I'll post a video or a clip on how strong Nihok is. Okay, so that will be it. I hope that you are motivated to unlock and finish the Fight Pass 4 and Fight Pass 3. This is GamerNom. And GamerNom out.